Multiplying a series of integers. This is a digital lesson. And it starts out with having students count the number of negative factors when they're multiplying a series of numbers. So here in the first row, there's two negative factors, so they type in a two. Three negative factors, four negative factors, and five negative factors. And so you want them to look this over and see if they can see any kind of pattern. Um, so give them a minute or two. Now when they get to the next slide, if they haven't figured it out yet, this will help them. So on slide three, it says when you're multiplying integers, if there's an even number of negative factors, your product will be. And so they ha if they haven't figured it out yet, they can see here that if there's an even number, two and four, the product's going to be positive. If there's an odd number of negative factors, the product will be negative. So they're just going to type in positive and negative. Now here, we don't, we're not looking for the answer on slide four. We're just looking for net positive or negative. Is your product going to be positive or negative? So they just count the number of negative factors. So here there's five. That's an odd number, so they're going to have a negative product. Now they need to be careful because these are not all negative numbers. So here you're just counting the negatives. One, two, three. That's an odd number. Product will be negative, and so on. When they get to slide five, they're going to be typing in the actual answers. So when they multiply, and then they're going to check their answer and make sure their sign is correct by counting the negatives. So here you get um, an answer of 80. I'm going to check that. So there's one, two, three, four negative factors. That means it's a positive answer. All right, when they get to the next slide, they've got some sentence frames. So they're going to move, be moving these words into the correct place in the sentence frame. This is just a, a review of everything they've just done. So to move these words, they just click and hold on the edge, and then they can move them into place. And on the final slide, they have a puzzle. So they're solving a riddle. Why did the student do multiplication problems on the floor? And they've got to find the answer when they multiply the series of integers. When they find the product down here at the bottom, they're going to type in the letter next to their problem. So they find the solution and then go back up and find the letter. And that will solve the riddle. So this is a digital lesson on multiplying a series of integers.